Hi, I'm Carlos. In this short film, I'm going to tell you about an exciting research project taking place in Cambridge. If you're 35 or over and have Down syndrome, you might be interested in helping us by taking part in our study. This is Kate. She's a scientist. Kate works in a big hospital in Cambridge called Addenbrooks. Kate wants to learn more about Down syndrome so that she can help people with the condition to be healthy as they get older. Kate has come to visit Martha. Hi Martha, it's Kate. Martha is going to help with the study about Down syndrome. Hi Martha, I'm Kate. Martha has a busy, active life and has Down syndrome herself. Kate has come to visit Martha to discuss the research project and to ask her some questions. My name's Martha. I live in Ely. I like go horse riding, dancing, swimming. Could you tell us why you want to take part in this project? I want to take part to help people with Down syndrome. As part of the research project, Kate's discussing an information booklet with Martha. The booklet contains important information about the project. She's then going to ask Martha some questions about her memory. Some people with Down syndrome have trouble remembering things as they get older. This may be due to a condition called dementia. Scientists think that memory problems in Down syndrome are caused by a chemical called amyloid. Here is a picture of what your brain looks like. If we take a closer look inside, we can see that there are millions of little fibres that connect with one another. These are called neurons. Neurons carry messages that help us to think and remember things. In dementia, deposits of amyloid can build up over time and disrupt the neurons. This can lead to memory problems. Amyloid is very small but very sticky. It builds up in the brains of some people with Down syndrome. Scientists want to understand why it makes people forgetful and develop medicines that will help remove the amyloid from people's brains. Their goal is to defeat dementia in Down syndrome. To do this, researchers like Kate need special pictures of the brain to find which parts of the brain are affected by amyloid. They use special cameras called scanners. This machine is called an MRI. Martha will have to lie very still inside the MRI for about 20 minutes. She will lie on a bed that goes up a little when the researcher presses a button. She will lie in the scanner just like this with her legs sticking out. Martha listens to some music while her brain picture is being made. We're going to start your first scan very shortly. There's just going to be a short... She can talk to researchers all the time. Okay, great, Martha. How was that? Very good, thank was you. Was it really good? Not too noisy or anything? Or... No, no. No. So, should we go and get some tea, have a break before yeah, sure, the next no one? sure, no problem. Okay, great. After Martha has this break, she's going to have some more pictures taken using a different machine. This machine is called a PET scanner. Before going into the PET scanner, Martha will have a small needle in her arm. This does not hurt, but she might feel a small scratch. Martha has some cream rubbed on her arm first to make sure she won't feel any pain. The PET scanner works by using tiny amounts of radiation. The radiation is important as it helps to see amyloid in your brain. It does this by briefly sticking to the amyloid before being washed away naturally. This is an example of a brain picture from a PET scan. The red areas show where the amyloid has built up. PET has been used many times before and it has been shown to be safe. The amount of radiation is the same you might get if you take a long distance flight. Here is Martha having her second scan. She will need to lie still for about two hours. She can listen to her favourite music or audiobook. She needs to lie still to help Kate take good pictures. Lots of people find the PET scanner relaxing and they fall asleep. OK, so how was today? Very good. Can you tell me a bit about the MR scan? We're um, relaxing, comfortable, a bit noisy a bit, but that's fine. And what about the second one? What about the PET scan? Can you tell us a bit about that? I was falling asleep, listened to books. Overall, would you recommend that people take part in this project? Yes, certainly, yes, definitely. Kate gives Martha a picture of her brain. Martha is delighted with this. If you'd like to take part in this study and help defeat dementia and Downs, please contact Kate or me at the University. In this brief film, I've been able to introduce you to some, but not all important aspects of this study. 
If you, your family or carers would like to know more, we'd be happy to visit you in your home to explain the study in greater detail. Thanks for watching.